In the kingdom of Alexandria, a greedy queen seeks to conquer the world, her armies marching to destroy all those who might oppose her. The princess, fearful of her mother's wrath, flees the kingdom. She bands together with other heroes and wanderers to find the source of this conflict and put a stop to it once and for all. Final Fantasy IX is, like the other Final Fantasy games, a big classic JRPG where you control a group of heroes who travel the world fighting monsters and solving problems. Like other RPGs, as you adventure you will get into battles where you will engage in semi-turn-based combat with each of your different characters taking turns attacking or casting magical spells. When you defeat monsters, you'll get experience, which you'll use to upgrade your character's abilities, and money, which you'll use to buy new weapons and armor for them to equip. In the first half, you'll largely be progressing through a linear series of dungeons in order to unlock new story segments, but in the second half, you'll have the opportunity to explore on your own and unlock new means of transport or methods of interacting with the environment. And besides just pursuing the primary plotline, there's plenty of extra stuff to engage in as well. There are mini-games and side quests, and even an unnecessarily elaborate card game that you can play with different characters from around the world. Now, for the most part, Final Fantasy IX is exactly what you've come to expect from JRPGs and the Final Fantasy series itself in particular. But it does have a few updates that help keep it fresh and interesting. There is, for instance, a new system that handles in-game cinematics, where you can either watch them and learn more about the story, or skip them altogether and go about your business. There's also a new ability system, where characters learn skills based on the weapons that they equip during battle. When a character finally masters a skill, you can go into the menu and then turn it off and on at your leisure. This can be helpful in a dungeon where, if you know your enemies are going to be using poison attacks, you can go into the menu and turn on the skill that makes you immune to poison. Now, this is balanced out because you need points in order to activate your abilities, so you can only have so many skills active at one time. Now, what I always found most interesting about Final Fantasy IX is how Squaresoft seems to have intended for this game to be a big, bombastic fantasy story. But not just any fantasy story, but a story that actually leverages the mythos of the Final Fantasy series itself. This game has some really interesting interpretations of blue mages and black mages and what the nature of their magic and existence is. Heck, Princess Garnet, one of the primary protagonists, is both your white mage and your summoner. And that combination has fascinating implications, not just in terms of gameplay and combat, but also in terms of story. The greatest thing about Final Fantasy IX is how they seem to have been able to pour detail, to pour attention into virtually every aspect of the design. All of the environments are richly embellished and wonderfully colorful. All of the characters are unique and have personality. Every single member of your party has a backstory, has a motivation. They have an arc. I'm sure not all the arcs are equal, but at least they have them. It's a story that takes place in a setting that actually feels like a, a living, breathing world. And that's great for adventure because you always feel like you want to see what's happening just over the horizon. What new lands can you explore? What new creatures can you meet? What new treasures can you collect? Now, it's not perfect. There are a couple flaws. 
that card game, for instance, that I mentioned before, Tetramaster, uh, it's needlessly obtuse. There are hidden rules and subsystems that wind up making victories feel more like luck than skill. Difficulty can spike unpredictably over the course of the game, depending upon who's in your party and whether or not they've been sufficiently leveled. Also, the story, like a lot of Final Fantasy games, goes kind of weird in the last quarter. I, I will give them credit. They do bury the leads pretty early on, so nothing comes as a huge surprise. They're not just pulling it out of nowhere, but it is still kind of odd. Still, Final Fantasy IX is a triumph of design, plotting, and pacing. It really, it really captures that spirit of adventure, which is at the heart of all classic RPGs. It's got great storytelling, great music, great visuals, great characters. I would give it four out of four stars and my recommendation. If you enjoy RPGs or even just the Final Fantasy games, this one is definitely a cornerstone of that series and you should check it out. All right, thanks for listening. Nug it out there, friends, and get hyped. The show's about to begin.